dual review is brought to you by spiderwolf.com. On today's dual review, the anime Attack on Titan. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, today is August the 8th, and we're taking a look at the anime Attack on Titan. That's right, and this was one of those viewer-recommended ones, so thank, thank you, you for that. Um, and unfortunately, we can only find it subtitled in not even all of them just yet, because they're not all on uh, uh, American soil yet. Um, and I say unfortunately because the visuals are so amazing, I, I don't want to look down to read the text, but I have to, to know what's going on. But I just love watching this. So basically, the plot is um, you have the last civilization of humanity uh, stationed in one spot, and basically you have these, it's tiered, so you have these uh, walls that are protecting each uh, segment, and so you have the outer, the outer uh, area, then you have the inner area, and then you have the castle in the very center. Each of them have their walls, and the reason they have these really tall, giant walls is because on the outside of the civilization are things known as titans, and they're different sized titans, and sometimes they're these special titans, you know, with uber powers and stuff. Abnormals. Yeah, abnormals, right. Um, you have the five meter, the seven meter, the colossal, the armored, you know, it's just a lot of crazy stuff happening, and you have these special elite fighters uh, who, who take on them, and there's there's well, there's three technically, and then there's the training. Um, you have the uh, military police who protects the king and queen. Then you have the garrison who kind of protects things within the walls, yeah, and then you runs, have runs things. Yeah. Right, yeah, and then you have the uh, the survey corps who goes outside of the walls to either kill them or capture them for experimentation. Scouts. Yeah, they're scouts. They're trying to figure out what's happening. Uh, so the premise is. The walls break down because of this newfound colossal titan who just comes over and obliterates them. The, the colossal titan is huge, enormous. It's and crazy huge. We should we should set the stage that they've had like a hundred years of peace right. since they've been inside these walls, so yes. they feel fairly protected. Right. Um, so so the colossal titan breaks it down, and then you have people reacting. A huge horror. A lot of people die. It's really crazy. Buildings get smashed, and you're following this one main character as he. Uh, tries to, he, well, I don't want to give too much away, but it is kind of in the first yeah, episode. Aaron Yeager. Yes, Aaron Yeager. He, something happens to him where he's like, I need to kill every last one of these Titans, period. So he joins uh, the training and he goes off to fulfill his destiny as one of the greatest uh, fighters in whatever the name of the town is. They say it twice and I'm sorry, I don't remember it. Yeah, it, it, he's, he's definitely the central character and that's not to say that there aren't some other great characters. Right. Because uh, Mikasa is awesome. I love, I love her character. Yeah, she's so and cool. I also like uh, Armin, although he's, you know, he's, he's whatever. He's kind right. of a stereotypical little bit, you know, the whiny smart guy, whiny smart kid. But are you done talking about the story? I don't want to no, no, no. run you. This anime is so full of emotion that it actually almost gets annoying at some points because in the original Japanese, it's always like at 11. Like they're always yelling at each other and stuff. But I've been moved close to tears like several times. Like it really is emotional. Um, so I just wanted to say that. I love this anime. I, you said you loved it too. Yes. It's really freaking good. And the reason that you mentioned the whole subtitles thing is because it's so good, we don't want to devote any time. I literally have to watch the episodes twice because the visuals are so stunning. The artwork is so beautiful. It's got this really thick, dark outline yeah. that I really enjoy. It kind of adds more depth to it for me. Um, and it, you know, it's definitely emotional enough and there's enough character stuff and there's big battle sequences that are just awesome. Um, I don't think I like some of the nuanced stuff quite as much as you do, like the the things that they wear, oh, the saddlebag things. Yeah, I like the the idea of them and whatever, but they're just a little clunky. But I do appreciate that they tried to make it look realistic. Well, in yeah, fact, because even they also in the, pull the blades. In, in fact, even in the cl cut scenes, they have like schematics and stuff, yeah, which is awesome. I love that. Or like the you know the intermission like commercial will come back. Whatever. Right, that's pretty awesome. Um, but and then the Titans to me, they kind of are a little bit. I don't know if I like them. But then they kind of win me over because they're just so odd. They're always smiling and shit. Yeah. And it's kind of creepy. They are so creepy. And you do find out stuff about them. But at this moment in time, we've had 17 episodes because there's the 13.5 or right. whatever, which is just a recap. Yes, but it is. Literally, uh, that's all we've had. And uh, we we don't quite know everything, but we're starting to learn about the Titans, and it's, it's very interesting. Um, so, yes, strong, awesome music. Um, 
the even the intros are a lot of fun even though i you know i, I the the music is grating enough that i do end up skipping them but i love the artwork in the end yes you know like the pencil the sketches and stuff it's beautiful um so yes uh it's always at 11 so you, you always have people yelling at each other so that's that's one possible negative but you care for these characters right away right. you you understand that this is like humanity's last stand and they're really in trouble and they're struggling and all that stuff and it is a really solid anime thank you so much for recommending it the one thing I'm going to say, well, actually, there's there's three things, really. Okay. And the one I've already mentioned, which is the Titans, I'm not sold on them. I am. The second is the everything, everybody's always shouting all the time in the subtitles. Those kind of go together for me, because the, the original Japanese translation, even though it's beautiful and easy to listen to, it is rather sharp and loud. And then I also have to look at the stupid subtitles. I, I, I have nothing against anime that you know, doesn't spend the extra money to have it translated to English, but in this case, again, it's yeah. just so beautiful. You don't want to read it. Um, the the main thing that I don't like about this anime is that it's humanity's last stand, oh, right. and it's humans versus these titans. Do you want to give this away? I, I'm going to try to give it away without giving it away. Let's just say that something happens that basically, even though the, the humans still struggle, and they're very important... The main crutch that they have, the, the new hope that they have, is not human. You're right. So that really disappoints me. Now, there could be something in the future that, uh, you know, uh, sheds light on this and, like, all along it was this or whatever. But I just I just feel sad that, that it's not right. purely humans versus this unhuman, you know, threat. Now, having said that, it's still phenomenal. I, I, it's not like I'm like, oh, well, this is stupid now. I'm not like that at all. It's just like that's. It's sad that it's all about humans and their resistance, and then all of a sudden there's something that's like, well, okay, they're not very powerful, yeah. so we're gonna have to throw them something else. Or I don't know. I yeah. don't. I don't understand the choice it's, right it's now. The Deus ex machina. Yeah, and and I don't uh, think it really registered. Until you start thinking about it, and it's like, oh yeah, yeah that kind of makes sense. When, you know? when, before you brought that up to my attention, before you you made that abundantly clear to me, I was like, oh, this is so awesome. I watched them back to back, and that's because it is awesome. It is awesome. It really is. But then when you brought that up, I was like, oh yeah, that that's right. So it just kind of it feels like, oh, but you know, because I'm human and I want to, yeah, oh, I want that those things and I want to yeah. shoot. Well, yeah, that that would be cool. That'd be so awesome. Anyway, uh, I do very much enjoy it. I love th that some of these characters they just show up and they completely change things. Like I like Pix Pixis. You know, I love him. He's awesome. Which Pixis? One? General Pixis. Oh, the oh. one that actually you know prevents him from being shot. And all right, 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 right. Yeah. And I, I really do enjoy this. I love Mikasa and there. There is a slew of characters. The three main ones, obviously, some are... are badass. Like Mikasa's badass. Yes, yeah, Mikasa's badass. The three main ones are the friends from the beginning. You have Armin, who is the military strategist, but he gets scared so easily. You have Mikasa, who is just stone cold. She'll do whatever she has to. Uh, to protect uh, Aaron, I should say, because it's not she doesn't really care about the rest of humanity. She only cares about Aaron, which is endearing somewhat. More or less. Yes. I wouldn't really. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, she and then, saves her share of other people. And then you have Aaron, who is not the skilled one, and he's not very intelligent, but he has more determination than anyone you'll ever meet. Um, but so, you have so many other characters. So many other characters. Yeah, like character like Gene, who's who's he's you know he's conflicted and he's scared because he really wants to protect it. He got into it to become part of the military police, which everybody knows in this it's world. Kind of a cushy it's job. A cushy job. Yeah, you're protected and you're you know you eat fine and fine dinners and stuff. So, but he's kind of driven to. I, almost guilt is kind of pushing him on, but also this sense of duty. And I love that he finds strength in his weakness, you know, yes. kind of thing. And that's just one example. I also love Potato Girl, yeah. which we haven't seen enough of. Not, no. But I not love even Potato Girl. She's so fun. Uh, the reason that she's called Potato Girl is because in Cadets, uh, she's you know she had stolen food. And uh, she's just, you know, eating it in front of her. Yeah, her, everyone, everyone's her at attention, and the sergeant's giving orders. Like, what is that? What are you doing? It's like potato. You want some? You know, kind yeah. of thing. And, and ever since then, it just she's she's the one that's kind of that blissful ignorance, and she's just, she like she she's so distraught, and people think that she's just, like suicidal or something, but she's just hungry. You yes. Know, so she's the comic relief, which is why I really appreciate her. They should definitely have her more often. She's cute too. Yeah. So anyway, she's also you know she stuck around. She made it through as well. So. So um, that is another thing about this anime is they don't they don't pull punches too often. Now right. you know that the core ones are probably going to be okay, but the other ones, you know, a lot of them die. Like you do get deaths all the time, and they're gruesome deaths too. Oh yeah, dude, they're creepy, weird, that, gruesome deaths. This is what really sold me was how people die because we didn't really describe the Titans yet. The Titans are humanoid; they look like men most of the time. Uh, there but are they have these like 
Yeah, there are one or two women. Yeah, you're right. They kind of just walk and around. Like, kind of when they walk, they just kind of, you know, they don't really have control over it's their like, bodies. It's so like much. a semi shamble. Yeah. But what's what's really weird They're is almost that almost gleeful. Yes. Yes. Is that they start off with like these small mouths, but the second they go to eat, their mouth like stretches all the way back to here, so it's like ear to ear mouth and then teeth, and then it's just like ah, and then they're just blissfully eating people, and it's like so disturbing. They do it so well to get that graphic right, you just get immersed in it. You're like, oh my god, this well, is think, horrible. Yeah, it, the first time I saw them, I was kind of like, ah, eh, they just look like big naked babies. But then it started warm, you know, winning me over, and the more that we know about them, the more it's interesting. Yeah. Like seeing that they vomit once they're full rather than digesting kind of thing and they're Which means really that they don't need to eat I, I'm kind of a spoiler but not really spoiler they're 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 the reason they've been able to live while all the humans have already been you know eaten but for the most part is because they don't really require that so so it's interesting to see how their body functions like the aftermath when they find that yeah, yeah. I can't really spoil yeah. that but it's just like oh dude that sucks cuz it feels feels so in vain that all these people die and whatever so they have a lot of you know emotional pull that way yeah and again the characters are just really cool they, they you know they split up they reunite and you're always rooting for them and it's just a lot of fun and it's um very realistic when it comes to like necessary sacrifices and seeing all that stuff like these difficult choices that they yeah. you know nobody's unscathed by that and uh, the characters don't just have these epiphanies and change. A lot of them are like, I found my strength. And then the next episode, they're losing again. You know, they're losing it again. Yeah. That kind of thing. So I, I love seeing that struggle. And so I really do highly recommend this anime. And again, thank you for recommending it. Yes, thank I you. I think you would echo with that. Is yeah. there anything else you want to say? We pretty much praised the hell out of it. Uh, I don't think I started off with the director. So the director is uh, Tets, what is it? Tetsuro uh, Araki, who did High School of the Dead and Death oh. Notice. Uh, Death Note. Oh, you're right. Death yeah. Note. Yeah, that's from the makers of Death Note. Right. So, uh, yeah, wonderful, wonderful anime. I can't recommend it highly enough. I eagerly anticipate the next coming episodes. I just want them to hit our shores faster. Funimation, work harder uh, to get them. Are you going to check out the? Please dub. Are you going to check out the manga? I am definitely thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, me too. I'm going to, I'm going to look for them. So yeah, this is this is one that we don't often go from anime to manga because we don't have a lot of time. But I think this is one of the ones where we're gonna be like, yes, please, yes, take my money. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Again, uh, go watch it. Please keep those recommendations coming. Yes. Uh, we're we're gonna be looking into Fairy Tale and you know countless others that you guys have recommended. So thank you so much for that. Um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our great playlist. Game Lab's been a lot of fun. Yes, it has. And please leave comments. We love comments. And you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a card game, art print shirts, stories, and more. And if you're on Facebook, so are we. So find us and friend us. And if I'm online, I will chat with you all day. We are also blogging. You can follow me, fisk37.tumblr.com. I'm blogging as characters, releasing character sheets, uh, bits about the world that I've created for 10 plus years. Take a look. If you like it, share it, support me that way. And my blog is nicholasbach.tumblr.com, where, where I'm posting up my short stories and poetry as I can do it when I have time to do it. So, check that out. Alright guys, see you later. You got it. Yes. Good job. First shot for both of us. Our movie this week is The Living Wake. Haven't done that in a while. Okay, uh, Tech on Titan. Let's do the opening. I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Word. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what? Do that shit. No. Is that. Is that you being racist? Uh, yeah, against white honkies who try to act like brothers. <laughs> <laughs>